Welcome back to The Talking Hedge. I'm Josh Kincaid, Capital Markets Analyst and host of your Cannabis Business Podcast. Today, we're going to take a look at the top 10 cannabis news stories of the week, starting with number 10. So Red, White & Bloom updated investors on their high times deal with the U.S. operations and sharing the lockup following a successful IPO. Red, White & Bloom brands, they provided an investor update following the competition of its reverse takeover of Tidal Royalty and saw Red, White & Bloom shares commence trading on the Canadian Stock Exchange. Red, White & Bloom also announced a blockbuster deal with High Times to acquire licensing and branding rights for High Times dispensaries and cannabis products in Michigan, Illinois, and Florida. So we're going to do a podcast all about uh, the deterioration of High Times. Every deal they touch just dissolves. So we're going to wait for that one to dissolve as well, unless Red, White & Bloom has full access and they can take it, run with it, um, exclusive from uh, high Times. Because again, if High Times is involved, it's going to crumble. Everything they touch crumbles. Number nine, Champion Brands closes a $15 million bot deal private placement. Great. Actually make some money. Then we we'll, might talk about it. Number eight, forget Xanax. This company wants you to take large doses of LSD. Show me the money. Number seven, Trader Live TV interviews Brad Rogers, CEO of super state operator Red, White, and Bloom. Sounds like a pay to play. Moving on to number six, should I sell my Aurora cannabis stock? One stock a lot of investors are evaluating is Aurora Cannabis, some who bought it, no doubt wishing they had bailed out sooner. So I just saw today on uh, Bloomberg TV that uh, BP wrote off billions of dollars. And so Aurora only wrote, wrote off one billion. <laughs> but what is that saying? It's saying that they're not really looking and doing their due diligence and ensuring that a billion dollars doesn't get written off. So, I mean, if you want to speculate, if you want to gamble, go for it. But in terms of these guys actually making money long-term, long-term, it's not going to happen. All of them are going to have to wipe out their shareholders in a bankruptcy reorganization when the U.S. legalizes. They are all inefficient. So gamble on, invest wisely, whatever. Number five, here's what Canby Growth CEO thinks the U.S. pot market will be open for business. So David Klein says that the federal legalization is on its way no matter who wins in November. And one thing that could send pot stocks soaring in a hurry is the federal legalization of marijuana in the U.S. If that happens, it'll not only be possible for cannabis companies to move their products legally across state lines, but also result in a flurry of mergers and acquisitions. Canadian companies like Canopy Growth are especially eager to tap into that lucrative U.S. pot market. They have to because companies in the U.S. are making cannabis at 44 cents per gram and the stock price will only remain for those cannabis LPs as long as they can make a dollar fifty dollar seventy five per gram and that's crazy when US companies can do that for a third of the price so they have to gobble those companies up reduce their expenses otherwise they are gonna have to uh, again they're gonna have to go through bankruptcy reorganization and wipe out all those shareholders Number four, Champion Brands Investor Update. They have a name change, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Make money. Number three, a couple of cannabis stocks that could survive a cannabis crisis. They specifically named Kronos and Afria, focusing on a strong balance sheet. There's a lot of burn rate where a company can just sit idle and just burn through cash because they have to make payments on property, plant, and equipment. So you have to be making product and selling it. Number two, there's investing in psychedelic stocks. And number one, Red, White, and Bloom closes a landmark deal with High Times. Again, we're going to do a podcast on this because High Times is an absolute disaster. The number one story of the week should have been how our AI-based cannabis index was up 6.6%. Stay tuned. We just got a brand new index that's going to be available to the general public. Um, you can invest all of it in cannabis, but it's more of a diversified fund. It's called the C3 Fund. It's for Chinese companies, cannabis, and then chips like semiconductors. So uh, you can invest in all of it and diversify or just in cannabis. Either way, it's going to be a, an awesome product. So stay tuned for that. With that, we're going to roll this one up. I'm Josh Kincaid. This is The Talking Heads. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, or don't. And I'm out.